Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do clipping, because today I'm going to introduce you to Air Windows Clip Only 2. The deal here is that this is a update of my original Clip Only, which was sort of the refined essence of what's in 80 Clip. And what I'm doing here is expanding it so that it works better with high frequencies. So firstly, let's get some noise going. And we need to clip this a little loud. So we've got it just gain, boosting it two bits, which is what, uh, 12 dB? And then another bit shift gain, cutting it back by two bits. If we're not clipping anything, that's, that's raw audio. But, we can put distortion on. That is a, uh, excuse me for a second. That there is the logic distortion. And I've got it set up as flat as I possibly can. So it's the tone is cranked up as far as it'll go. Drive 0 dB, output 0 dB. This is sort of Apple's version of a hard clip. And in fact, their over limit was not really uh, a clip over clipper. But this is their idea of what this is good for. Here, let's bring it up a bit. But clip only, you will notice this is the same degree of clipness as this. Thing is, like Apple's plugin, although it is pretty, you know, we've got like our graphics and things, we've got a filter. Got a level compensation. But I don't know. That's a little grungy. Whereas clip only does the same thing. But it's less messy sounding. It doesn't sound as much like an unpleasant dog. It's this. So let's get rid of this for the moment. going to focus entirely on the two clip only. So here's our original clip only. This algorithm is all about finding stuff that's going into clipping and altering the onset and departure from clipping. So what it's going to do... Here, let me pause that for just a second. So what this is going to do is it's going to catch stuff that's going into clipping. And if you have already clipped, it's going to take down the sample entering clipping or the sample exiting clipping. And what that means is that that's softening the edges of a clip without changing any of the unclipped samples. And maybe that's why it sounds the way that it does. We've got, uh, again, Here, we'll, we'll turn it up even a little bit louder. And we can take this much gain off of it. That's very obviously clipped. We're clipping by 18 dB here. But it's still fairly smooth compared with, like, Apple. But here's clip only two. Now the difference between clip only and clip only two is that clip only two is running a larger window for how long the transients can go before they stop being turned. Like the degree of softening that it does isn't just on a sample-by-sample -sample basis. It's looking ahead a number of samples 
in order to do its thing. Like the specific, this is this is technically not one of my zero latency. It is one sample at 44.1k latency. And by the same token, if you're at 192k, for instance, this is 96. That's also one sample at 44.1k. It's just scaled up to take as many samples as that would be. So what we've got. Go back into a little bit of distortion here. Clip only. Listen to those hi hats and things. Now, clip only too. But you know what? We can go a little farther than that. Let's match gain at four bits of game shift. This will be 24 dB equipping. So that's raw, and it's a little boosty. We're, we're peaking at about 1.4 dB. So let's take it back down again. Here's your original clip only. Hear how the high frequencies are still kind of gritty? Because this is not 44.1k, this is at 96k. And here's clip only too. We've got super hard gritty clipping going on, but it's not quite as bright as this is. Instead, we get a little bit more color, a little bit more warmth to the clipping, doing this. And of course, if we were using the DAW stock one, that's uh, sure distortion and clipping, it's not very nice. We can go back to clip only two, or indeed even clip only one will still sound better than that, but... And then if you don't want to clip your mix bus by 24 dB... We'll clip our mix bus by 6 dB. So here's our raw, and we're, we're peaking out by as much as a dB on the final mix. Here's original clip only. And it's gonna be pretty clean. We're only clipping by a hair over 6 dB. Here's the new version. sound that much like it's clipping 6 dB down, does it? And of course we can push it even farther. We're still peaking 6 dB down here. peaking at 6 dB down. Then back to normal. And then back to And that's about enough of that, because that got kind of loudish at times. So here's the interesting thing about clip only uh, for use as a safety clipper. There's some stuff that my plugins do. For instance, the uh, 
denormalization, the dithering to the floating point bus. Clip only to does not do these things. And I'll tell you why. Everything that is clipped is getting clipped to the, uh, it's about uh, 0.1 dB down or whatever, because the softening effect minimizes like gib effect, high frequencies poking out. Um, anything above that point is clipped in this way where only the samples that are clipped are manipulated to soften the uh, distortion. Everything below the clipping point is passed through as if it was on bypass. And that is a difference that clip only two has, which is not always available. For instance, we can turn on uh, the logic distortion here and play this music again. As soon as I compose new music, you'll hear it. This is what I've got right now. And if we were doing a safety clipper thing, and let's simply remove our bit shift gain, because we're no longer using those. And now we're pretending that these are all just safety clippers. And there's the distortion to be used as a safety clipper. See, it's a, we'll even make it be the safety clipper the same way that mine is. It's slightly less than full clip. And we've currently got everything running through these three effects, and they are all on bypass. And we can play this directly, and it'll maybe peak out just a tiny bit over zero, which is why we want a safety clipper. But it sounds pretty clean. Clip only two. like this says 0 dB drive. Hello. I was kind of hoping that it would be clean because I was thinking about using that as a safety clipper. After all, it's what logic provides. If I wanted to do something nice and clean that wasn't a full-on limiter or whatever, I might try to do that. And clip only two, which you've heard. So there you have it. Air Windows clip only two. And some of this this is this stuff is being mixed inside the console system, so that can sometimes make it a little bit more complicated, but it exaggerates the sound of these things. Clip only two is designed to be a perfectly transparent safety clipper. And that's worth using as a replacement for either clip only if you're running at a high sample rate which I advocate for. I think high sample rates are good. Or if you were using something like somebody else's distortion deal, like this logic one, in order to try to do safety clipping on your output, I think that's fairly clear that that's not doing a direct pass through. It's acting like it's some kind of stomp box. And it's not only a stomp box, it's a stomp box that doesn't sound all that great. So we'll shut that off and let me see. Clip only two is audio unit VST and signed audio unit VST. 
and Linux VST, and Windows 32 and 64-bit VST, all of that stuff. The, granted, the VST is VST 2.4 because they support backwards compatible stuff and older systems. In fact, if I am not mistaken, my audio units for the uh, retro build still support PPC. I know nobody's using PPC. If you wanted to, however, I think you would be able to use it. And it is free. Because what I do is supported by Patreon. Here. What I do is supported by Patreon. And for that reason, I don't have to charge you directly for Clip Only 2. Or for the time that I spent working it out. Because I've been, I've been doing something interesting in recent weeks, I'm mixing an album. And when I'm finished with it, and it actually comes out and the fellow releases it, it's probably going to be in Bandcamp like its previous one. I can point you to it and show you. And among the things that I've been de developing for that purpose, since I was doing it at 96K, because that's what I mix at these days, is a uh, final clipper that would operate the way that I needed it to. And that's what Clip Only 2 is except for that it's not specifically clip only two that I'm using because I also updated pressure and threw in a clip only stage on the end of that with a sort of afterburner thing so that I could do all of my bus compression and final peak clipping and so on in one place. But that's a story for another day. So I hope you like clip only two. And thank you very much for your attention and for all the stuff people have done to further all this open source, because this is open source. If you like the algorithm, you can use it. It's just MIT licensed. And I'll talk to you folks later. Bye-bye.